good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Pre-election campaign of candidates for the National Assembly of Western Armenia. Closing ceremony of the Western Armenia Cup 2023 took place on the question of the Armenians of Western Armenia. Sons of Western Armenia, Arkady Tertadevosian, the resident of Artsakh, faced an authoritarian blockade while the world was focused on Ukraine. House of Freedom, nature is being being killed in the Perry Valley of Western Armenia, literature in Western Armenia. On May 18, 2023, at 8 o'clock French time, at 10 o'clock Yerevan time, the 11th pre-election Zoom campaign of candidates for the National Assembly of Western Armenia will be held in Armenia. The theme of the meeting, Artsakh War and Western Armenia. The Archery Tournament Cup of Western Armenia 2023 was held on May 13 and 14. The tournament was organized in Yerevan and Los Angeles on the initiative of the Honorary Consul of Western Armenia, head of the Archery Federation Arman Grigorian and under the high patronage of the President of Western Armenia Armenak Abrahamian. President of the Archery Federation of Eastern Armenia Nazik Amirian noted in her speech that they work together all time. As we saw, the competitions from from the first day to the end were held without any problems. On the opening day, the weather conditions were unfavorable, but it didn't hurt. Boys and girls between the ages of 10 and 18 from Yerevan and the surroundings areas participated in the tournament. Six prizes were reserved for both sexes. President of Western Armenia Armenak Abrahamian thanked the Prime Minister, member of the government, athletes and coaches as a closing ceremony. Maria Jacobson named the orphanage she founded in Lebanon the bird's nest, and for decades she fed the Armenian children like a mother bird. After they grew up, many of them stayed in touch with Jacobson and other guardians. Maria's 600-page diary played a major role in presenting to the world the truth about the years of the genocide against Armenia. In her memoirs, she writes that Muslim children imitating the behavior of adults express their attitude toward Christians and especially Armenians, which often manifest manifested itself in the form of ridicule shown to the victims. A missionary in Harbert described the Turks and Kurds who went to Mezre as follows, I have never seen such fierce and savage people. Even their little son behaved like a grown man, shouting after us Christian dogs. The missionary described how Turkish boys and young men gathered together and enjoyed watching the suffering of the Armenians. I have never seen such a horrible event. I saw two gendarmes dragging an old woman down a slope, 10 to 12 12 Turkish boys were amused by this sad sight. During the deportation of the Armenians from Sebastia, the Turkish children of Malatya mocked and said, we will crush and kill you all. One of the sons of Western Armenia is Major General, hero of the Artsakh Liberation War, former Deputy Defense Minister of the Republic of Armenia, Arkady Tertadevosian. The liberation of Shushi, which had a great psychological and strategic impact on the further course of the struggle, is considered to be his most significant victory during the Liberation War. Arkady Tertadevosian was born in Tbilisi on May 22, 1939. He graduated from a military school in Baku, then from the Leningrad Transport and Rare Military Academy. He served in Afghanistan, Germany, Czechoslovakia, Belarus, and since 1987 in Armenia. In 1988, he joined the struggle for the liberation of Artsakh and actively participated in the military training of volunteers. In 1991, he was appointed the head of the Republic of Armenian Defense Committee's Department of Extra Military Training. On October 13, 1991, the newly created Artsakh Self Defense Forces under the command of Derta Devosi liberated the strategic village of Dokh, Hadrut region, from the enemy in a brilliant operation. In May 1992, he prepared and brilliantly carried out the liberation of the city of Shushi, Operation Wedding in Mountains, which was considered one of the most impregnable hates controlled by Azerbaijani troops from which the Panaket was bombarded for months. Many of the world's democratic countries are united in opposing Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, but they should not forget that other similar injustices are unfolding in other places, for example in the Republic of Artsakh. The human rights organization Freedom House writes about this, calling on them to act to influence international institutions such as the Organization of Security and Cooperation in Europe or the United Nations Security Council to help implement the decision of the International Court of Justice to unblock 
block Artsakh. At the same time, democratic countries should provide direct humanitarian aid to the population affected by the conflict in order to alleviate their suffering. The organization writes, recalling that even at the moment when the president of Azerbaijan and the prime minister of Armenia are holding talks on the settlement of relations in Brussels, the Azerbaijani forces continue to keep Artsakh under siege. It is in the interest of all nations to defend the basic principles of international law, to reject military aggression, and to prevent atrocities against the civilian population, the article says. The human rights organization also notes that democratic countries have already expressed their concern about human rights violation as a result of Baku's action. The International Court of Justice ordered Azerbaijan to take all necessary measures to ensure the unhindered movement of people, cars and trucks in both directions through the Berdur corridor, but the government of Azerbaijan, which is known for ignoring various international mechanisms, is doing it again. An example of the Turkish government's aggressive policy in Western Armenia is the destruction of nature in the Peri Valley, which directly threatens public health. A special policy is being developed to depopulate the Peri Valley, which is located on the border of Burak and Dersim and Harbert. To date, nine water reservoirs and hydroelectric power plants have been built in the valley. The construction of this reservoir and hydroelectric plants involved mining hazards, historical, archaeological sites, sacred places vegetation and ecosystem composition of the region have been completely ignored. Cultural and ecological genocide is being deliberately carried out. In there seem many holy places important to the Alevis have been flooded. Natural areas created over millions of years have been destroyed, including waterfowl habitants in Perry Valley. Thousands of fish have died, and some endangered species are threatened with extinction. Dozens of ibex, considered sacred by locals, have drowned in these waters. Citizens and community leaders concerned about conservation and public health have repeatedly sounded the alarm and raised voices of protest about the problem, but to no avail. The path to the creation of a book begins with writing. In ancient Armenian mythology, the god of education, wisdom and learning was Tyr. Our distant ancestors began to write with images. It is no coincidence that in many languages the concepts to write and to draw almost always coincide. To write means both to write and to draw. The language of the official inscriptions of the Araratian kingdom was Armenian and the writing was cuneiform. About 600 texts are currently known. In 400 5. Mesrop Mashtos, with the active support of King Vramshapu and Katoliko Sahak Bartev, created the Armenian alphabet of 36 letters. Immediately there followed the creation of an extensive network of schools, followed by gigantic translation and cultural work. Beginning with 5th century books were copied in many Armenian monasteries and were spread all over the country. In 5 to 8 centuries, Armenian handwritten books were written first on parchment and then on paper. In medieval Armenian Armenian there were individual church and monastery libraries of handwritten books. A book of more than 20,000 surviving Armenian manuscripts is preserved in the current Armenian library. The first Armenian printer and initiator of the Armenian book printing was Hakob Megapart, who founded his printing house in Venice. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. 